So two down. Yeah, here's the catcher. The catcher. Oil can country Oil breakfast. Can. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. In the air, left field. Johnson ranges to his right. Makes the catch. Inning over. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. Bottom half of inning number one coming. Osiris Johnson, the next up for the Padres. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Strike in there. The throw. Tag. And he's out. Well, I really didn't expect him to try to steal second base because he had a oil can country breakfast. The next to hit for the Reds. 0 for 1 so far. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And today is draft day, singing an exciting day in terms of the future of the sport and the future of these teams. It's also changed a lot in terms of the immediacy of finding out. I mean, what was it? Carrier pigeon was how you found out about being drafted back when you were selected, right? Well, fans today may not realize because we have you know, such exposure on the internet and, and network sports. Oil can country breakfast will hit next. A guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. Hit hard. Should be extra bases. Carter, round second on his way to third. Across is the runner from first. It's 6-1. And he's in at third with an RBI triple. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. In now for the Reds, number 21. And Boog, I'd say he's due. Hey, we're pacing up there. And here it comes. Brown ball to the right side. There for the out. Runner scores from third. Oil can country breakfast. Digs in down. The switch hitter batting right. Country breakfast. And that one is lifted in the air. Snags it on the run. And that'll do it. And one, two, three go the Reds. And they're on top seven to one. Sometimes it takes just getting away from home. Guys can sort of come together, connect a little bit more than they do when they're at home with their families, and that can breed to success on the field, as we saw in this game today. Excellent win by this team. And a 7-1 finish in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon. Welcome in, John Chomby, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. American League making a move Your for a pinch hitter. Please. Jeremy Whitehead. For the American League. Number 22, Jeremy. Oh, First Whitehead. offering misses the mark. Country Breakfast, an all-star a season ago. He features a four-seam fastball, a cutter, a splitter, a sinker, and he works in a slider. The pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. A wide to kick the pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And a one-two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Kicks and deals. Strike. 
Look him out looking. Now, Maurice Davis. Here we go, fellas, let's go. That's, That's off the mark. And that is ball one. Ball one, no strike. There's a strike. Well, so many hard-throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that guys have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch-up. Swings and misses, struck him out. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. And first offering is fouled off. And that's in for a strike. Throwing the ball well, and they need to score this inning a relief right here. They're doing a good job keeping them in striking distance. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Hernandez under it. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Three up, three down for him there. And not player runs to go around in this one. Not a great day to be a pitcher. He's hit. Manager checks in with his ball club. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining. So first and second with two outs. Next for Cincinnati. Oil can country breakfast. Hot shot to third. Inning over. Here's a speed threat. Oil can country breakfast. He's all for one. Moved first. And he's oh, just he's back in. Oh, close play. <laughs> and there's the strike. Oh, Country breakfast. Multi time all star. Hitting fifth in today's lineup. And he was a third round pick in 2023. Swing and a miss. Well, we can see him muscle up a little bit. He's trying to hit the ball a mile. Got to make sure that he stays within himself so that those mechanics can allow him to hit the ball a long way. Next offering misses, and the count is one and two. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand, probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch, so got to stay ready for it. Live drive, and that should be extra bases. Mortero around second, headed for third. Volpe with a relay throw. The tag, and he's out trying for three. But they do get a run. Well, the defense definitely on the clock with that one. Everything had to be perfect to get the runner at third. And you talk about a throw on the money, the relay to third. Just a good job all the way around. And here is Oil Can Country Breakfast. Oil Can. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation or maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning. Oh, this ball's down, and that could bring in a run. They won't test it here. Bases loaded, no outs. All over that one right there. What a great swing on that ball. Number Took the barrel one. right to it. Nice extension as well. 105 exit velocity. That tells you everything you need to know about that swing. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Number 21. One for two. Come on, guy. Get your pitch up there. That one out to right. Could be extra bases. One run is in. Mortero around third. 
Now he launches a throw over his head. And he'll make it up to second as he advances on the throwing area. Country breakfast. Caught the rundown now. And they put the tag on him for the out. Back here at the ballpark. And now Cam Collier. Sanders back to work. Now a pop up on the infield. Country breakfast. As this one sized up. Makes the catch for the out. Got the pitch that he wanted just a little bit quick. Front shoulder. So two away with nobody on. Oil can country breakfast. The next to hit. And first offering is fouled off. There's the swing and a miss. The hitter early and off balance on that swing. If I'm the pitcher, I'm taking a little bit more off. See if you can get him to chase something in the dirt. Hey, kids, see it. Drive it like you can. The 2 And there's a fly ball deep right field. And out of here. His fourth home run of the season. And they tack on to their lead. It's 10 7. No matter how this outing ends, that pitch is going to haunt him for a while. An 0 2 mistake. That's supposed to be a pitch out of the zone. He left it in the spot that the hitter could do some damage with, and that's a. In now for the Reds, Oil Can Country Breakfast. He's already homered here in this one. And first offering is fouled off. At the belt and fires. Breaking ball inside. And it's one and one. Peralta, the base runner at first with one out. comes a pitch and now the oh, count right is even good miss with that change up away he needs a ball on the ground for a double play minimize the potential hey, threat right here you're you're on turn. the hitter side nice job of laying off that pitch swing and a miss struck him out two down here's the second baseman number 33 corner infielders guarding the lines trying going, to prevent extra bases first offering runner goes throw to second save when your catcher's not a great thrower, you have to do a better job of controlling the running game. And that's throwing over, that's stepping off, doing whatever you can to try to keep that base stealer's rhythm off. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB the show with a good one coming at you. It's the Cincinnati Reds going up against the Colorado Rockies. And welcome back. And now, Oil Can Country Breakfast. Oil Can Country Breakfast. Pitch. Out there to center. Green settles under it. And he makes the catch. And there's one away. Yeah, the batter down. Yeah, batter. Oil can country breakfast. <laughs> Hard hit. Could be extra bases. Around second on his way to third. Headed for the plate. He'll score easily. And it's 1-0. The throw to third. And he's out trying for three. Well, the defense definitely on the clock with that one. Everything had to be perfect to get the runner in third. And you talk about a throw on the money, the relay to third. Just a good job all the way around. Here's Riley Green. Right-hander kicks deals. Here goes the runner. 
throw to second. Great jump. Well, nights like this when it seems hard to score. Oil can country breakfast. The next to hit for the Reds. One for two. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. This guy absolutely flies. The defense wants to turn two, but they've got to get a ball they can do it with. Make sure you get the first out before you try to rush and get two and end up with nothing. Lined, and that's a base hit. And that's going to get into the corner. Mortero headed for the plate. The throws offline. He's safe. And a 2-1 ball game now. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he's... Oh, now he breaks early for third. Tries to get back and save. Here's the pitch. Runner goes again. That's ball four. And the throw, he's out at third. Yeah, I don't really get the logic right there of trying to steal third. You've got to count where that hitter's most likely going to get a pitch to hit or he's going to walk. One thing is you don't want to Here's the catcher. Oil can, country breakfast. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. Swings through that oh one. Oh and one. Well, these Reds, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. They have five extra base hits on the stat sheet so far, and that tells me there's... Out towards right center field. And in one hops the wall. Mortero rounds third, headed for the plate. He will score, and they lead by two. Not in time, he's safe. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. Swing and a base hit. Runner from third comes across. It's 4-1. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. Nice line drive to the full side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. So up next, oil can country breakfast. RBI not for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. The 0-1 to first. Might be two. One at second. Back to the pitcher covering. It's a double play. Nicely done, and that Welcome back. Now it's the right fielder, Thomas Tachik. Next pitch is popped up. Rosado takes it in for the out. One away. Now batting, left fielder, Gregory. Well, Boop, four games wasn't too long of a losing streak, but they're definitely happy to be back in the win column. Now you can turn the things around, get on the right track, and probably nine. start a winning for streak from here. 5-1 is how it ends for Chris Singleton and our Inferences drawn from season statistics can sometimes illuminate potential areas of improvement. <laughs> We go to the ninth, and now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Doug Heller. Fastball for a strike. One one. Now this is just par for the course these days. Huge fastballs coming out of the bullpen. Righty to the plate. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Makes the grab. And there's one down. And now for the Marlins, Chris one down. Gatlin. One down. That one fouled off. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0-2. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then 
By the time nope. he gets in the hitting That's zone, all. hard to get the barrel to it. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Foul ball still a one and two count. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. And here's the first baseman, Edgar Estrada. A swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Stepping in, Garrett oh, Daly. Well, with the tie and run at first base, he's looking for something he can get a lot of barrel on, drive it into a gap, and score that run from first base. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. Right now, they're looking for something hit hard into the gaps, give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Next offering is foul back. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, they win the opener at home. First game of the three-game series, and there's just such a good feeling that you're in your own ballpark, you're sleeping in your own bed, you're eating your clubhouse manager's food, everything's right in your world, and they played like it today. 4-3, our final score. About to get started here. And on the mound in this one, Amauri Rivera. Very dominant his last time out. Picked up the win. Only allowed one run. These guys would love to see him back on his game in this one. Country breakfast. Hauls it in for the out. And there's one away. Man at first with one gone. Oil can country breakfast. The next to hit for the Reds. Didn't play in the day game yesterday, so he should be fresh for this one. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Number 12, moving back for this one. Long run, nice grab. And there's two away. Well, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest gear. In Oil can, country breakfast. The next to hit for the Reds. He's over one. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. See it, drive it. Let's go right here. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. And That's the first ball. pitch misses for ball one. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely. And I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, it surprised a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. Falling two behind ball. two and one. See you drive it like you can. Let's go. Hey. Bold strike right there. One down, base is empty. And now it's three and two. And there's ball four. Pedro Garlobo getting ready to hit. His first at bat was a strikeout. Sasaki picks over. Country breakfast. Back in on a dive. Come on now, get the pitch up there, kid. Another move to first, oh, and he's back again. Hey, get your pitch, right here. Kicks Runner. and fires. Run around the goal. And he throws it away. Now that. Here's the third baseman, number 29. Rudder breaks for third. On the ground to the left. Now a jump throw. Third out. One down. Now Oil can Catcher. country breakfast. We'll hit next. Country 
Out to short. Two away down. Oh. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Now it's the Marlins catcher, Bobby Ridgeway. He's over one. Next pitch is popped up. Country breakfast makes the catch, and the inning is over. Offense held in check there. Seventh inning stretch time. Doug Heller now at the plate. And the pitch. Runner on the goal. Pitch in for a strike. Throw there. Safe. Next for Cincinnati, oil can country breakfast. And a little something extra at stake in this at bat as he's hitless so far with his hitting streak in jeopardy. That one drilled left field. Daly makes the play out number two. Now the left fielder, Garrett Daly. Here's the pitch, run around the goal. That's in for a strike. Throw to second, tag, and they got him. And your final score here today, two. Your attention, Back please. here at the ballpark, all now, set to start the ninth in this one. And now the first baseman, Ronnie Garcia. Country breakfast. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. He doesn't seem to like to pitch up. Hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. Got him swinging for the K. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. Just blown away in that at bat. Three fastballs, all strikes. He wasn't even able to foul one off. There's not much you can take away from an at bat like that as a hitter, other than maybe there's something wrong with your eyes. He's got to have better timing on the fastball next time. Next offering upstairs. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Next pitch misses outside, and that's ball three. And the tying run is on base. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk, and guy at the plate was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Street swings through it for strike one. your base runner you've got to stay dialed in here look for anything in the dirt try your best to get in the scoring position crowd locked in right now one run game here in the ninth and a swing and a miss down on strikes and they're down to their last down and next to hit for the Sox Johnny Blackman and that's in for a strike just amazing to me how many closers and back end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. Hey, two away now. Next oh, offering is downstairs. Swing and a miss, and that's 
the ball game. Start of the new month is a great chance to hit the reset button. Whether you're coming in hot or cold, getting that win today is a great feeling. And up next for Chicago, Mark Schnell. Swing and a miss. And that's strike one. I think he was a little excited there, saw the fastball, but needed a step ladder to get to that one. He's going to have to tighten it back up. He wants to have a good at bat. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Casilla swings through it for strike one. Acuna leads off first with one away. Got him swinging. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts, so yeah, they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him in the scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. In the air, out towards right center. Carter settles underneath it. And he makes the catch. Ball game, and the Reds even this series up at a game apiece. 2-0 your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long. For the victorious Cincinnati Reds, two runs, seven hits, no errors. They left eight on day. And now it's going to be Thurman Veras. Hey, first pitch strikes right here. Get Rivera right now. picks the first. Back in their standing. There we are going here. There's a strike. That slider breaking in can be a tricky pitch. If you don't finish it and have that bite at the end and it stays out over the plate, it can get hit a long way. But that was a good one right there. That misses. One and, one. and it's a ball and a strike. Just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike, 0-2 count. Instead, it's 1-1. Can't field it cleanly. Not everything was on time. And welcome back. Here's the speedy catcher. Oil can country breakfast. Country breakfast. And the pitch. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Bangs off the wall. Throw to second. Not in time. He's there easily. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Absolutely blasted that one into the gap, but just didn't have quite enough to clear the wall out there. Maybe a little more elevation under it, and it carries over, but that's a swing you'll be happy with every time. Here's the pitch. Runner breaks for third. On the ground, right side, and it finds its way through for a hit. Oliver Reyes digs in now. Oliver. Oops, throw goes to third. Hey, let's go, big belt. And he deals. Up the middle, Chassin. Steps on the bag for one. And a run scores on the double play. Welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. So up now for Chicago, Gunnar Henderson. Country breakfast. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. And now the catcher comes up to him. Oil can, country breakfast. One for one with a double and a run score. Hard hit left side. Fires over to first. Gets the catcher by a step. Runner at first with two away. Next to hit, oil can, country breakfast. One for two. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Country breakfast, a former all-star. 30 years old now. 
He's knocked in nine over his last 10 games. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Home run number five on the season, and they add to their lead. It's 5-1. High fastballs, especially with good velocity, can be really hard to catch up to. But he stays tall. His top hand works extremely well. Oil can country breakfast. The next to hit for the Reds. He's already homered in this game. That one is absolutely belted. Jones going back. Back some more. Looking up to the warning track. Makes the catch. That's just a really nice catch on the run. 8-2 the final here for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby saying 